Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's old Pappy back with another one. Thanks for tuning in. And today we got some exciting news. I finally got a new dyno. I'm going to be trying out the Edison. But before we get started, as always, I appreciate your support. Hit the subscribe, the like, the share, and let's go. So this is the Edison here. I'm just fast upgrading it here with some of the silver that I've saved up. Um, it's got a chain gun. Basically, this thing shoots an electrical arc. And it's supposed to bounce from uh, from enemy to enemy. Now, I only have the light version here, the single version, I should say. I'm hoping to save up enough gold in the next little while to basically get the double version. Um, but let's check it out. Let's see how it goes. It's, it's a type of Ankylosaurus. So it does have that um, special ability where you can swing your club around and hit your enemies. But let's go. All right, so let's give this guy here. We got a little guy named Skyhound. I'm going to give him a little whack with my tail there. You can see how I took his health down. And look at that. Look at that. Um... Look at that, I got myself a kill already, holy cow. I'm really liking the, the visuals of this weapon as well. Look at that. It's giving it kind of a cool little electrical arc when you're shooting it there. Giving him a little zap. Look at that damage go up, holy cow. I'm really liking this. I also like the colors. I'm not sure if you guys can see as very well, but um, I really love the patterns on the, uh, on the Edison's uh, shell here. It's really cool looking, eh? Oh my gosh, I got that guy, got an assist, got a kill, got another assist already. All right, so let's just wander over here. What's the range on this thing? Hmm, let me just see. I'm going to give this guy a little zap. Look at his health go down. There goes old Kapuna. See you later, bro. Triple kill. Wow. I'm really loving this. I can't even imagine what it's going to be like if I get the double weapons on it, let alone the heavy weapons. Holy cow. No, unfortunately... Uh, I'm not quite leveled up yet. I, I, if anybody here has been playing the game much, um, some of these hev heavy weapons, they don't actually unlock until around level uh, 20 unless you um, open up your wallet and you get one uh, through, uh, you know, credit card purchase or whatever it is. So, um, you know, for now I'm going to have to put, uh, make do with this single weapon, but I'm gonna, hopefully going to get that, uh, the medium double weapon pretty soon. And then I can't wait to try the heavy weapons, but... Anyway, we're really, really putting a smack on the old uh, red team here, aren't we? There's that Skyhound again. I'm going to give him a little zap and a, uh, got myself a monster. Awesome. All right, let's come underneath this um, underneath this barrier. I really like these little areas that are created on the map where you can hide and really take advantage of the terrain. It's, um, it's something that I think is becoming more and more important um, the more I play because so many players out there are... are um, uh, by now, a lot of the players have really leveled up their gear. And so what I'm finding is a, a lot of times, um, you know, if you can't get in underneath those little hidey holes and these little sort of overhangs and stuff like that, you're really going to be taken out by, um, say, a locust um, or one of these other sniper bots that are just right on the other side of the map. So anyway, let's get in here really quick. Can I get Kapuna before I get killed? My health is going down pretty fast. Oh, man. I think I'm only around maybe a level... Somewhere between level 6 and level 8, I think if you're wondering what type of gear, like level gear I'm running here, most of my dinos now are anywhere from the low end is level 4, I think, and the highest I have is a level 11, uh, what is it, a level 11 Primark. Um, but it's in my hangar, or, or kind of, uh, I've taken it out of my main lineup so I can fit some of these other dinos in here and just take a look and, and see what I can do with them. And so for the next few weeks as well, you're going to see a lot of videos with different dinos. I'm trying to basically test all the different types of dinos and seeing which ones are, are basically the best value for you, right? I mean, you're the guy um, and gal out there who, who needs to uh, decide what you're going to invest your time and energy and resources in. So I want to make sure that I give you lots of good advice. So let's get back at the match here. How are we doing? Well, I'm out, I now have, I'm out here stomping and bumping um, with this gigantic dino here. I don't know if it's kind of a cross between a T-Rex or one of these other massive carnivores here that uh, just would have, you know, prowled the, the Jurassic back in the old-fashioned days, that's for sure. But it's got this cool sort of vocal... Um, I don't know how to describe it. It's got some sort of like vocal attack as a special ability, which is kind of cool. And it has these um, these weapons on the side that um, send these almost these vortex style weapons at the enemy. Now that's called a Curie is what I'm, I'm, I'm using right now. And the weapon is a light plasma projector. And my eyes are bad, but it tells me plasma projectors create constantly damaging slowly dissipating rays that span across the battlefield. Um, so basically, obviously, like all the other weapons, there's a, a you know, the regular version, then there's a medium, and there's a heavy, which unlocks at level 20. 
So again, I hope sometime in the near future I'll be able to get up to level 20 and start unlocking all these new, new super weapons. And I should let you know as well, it's kind of important. Um, most of my dinos don't have any fancy um, modules. Uh, the fancy abilities, all that kind of stuff. I don't, um, I don't have the gold saved up yet to get them, and I kind of wanted to try to get some new bots in my, or dino bots, some new dinos in my hangar before I worry too much about all the different abilities and stuff like that. Um, because I really, you know, I thought it was important as we, as we move forward here uh, as an official uh, video maker for Dino Squad that we start to show you some of these dinos in action, right? So by watching me play this dino here, you're getting a better sense of its turning speed. You're seeing how slow or fast it can go. You know, you're seeing what kind of damage these weapons can do. Now these are really cool weapons, eh? They shoot these kind of globs, almost like, I'm gonna call them like acid globs or whatever it is. Just like these, these weird globs of, of destructive material here. And um, you know, th this dino, um, it's very slow, very lumbering for sure. Um, has a very, very slow turn radius I'm finding. Uh, but it is called the... What is this one here? Let's get that going. It is the Monarch. And the Monarch has light caustic mines. Now the mines deal more damage when they're launched um, on a solid surface and then they explode after a slight delay, which is why they look like little globs that are globbing onto the, uh, the dinos here. You can kind of see the little sparky explosions happening there. So, you know, I'm really liking those as well. Um, I, I gotta go double check um, afterwards, um, you know, what the actual ranges are for some of these weapons as well, because, you know, one of the things I'm finding as well in this game, is that some of the longer range setups are really, really powerful. You know, you can sit on the other side of the map and just wipe out the entire, the entire other team. So that's just something to think about as well if you're picking out your own hangar. But anyway, I'm just gonna keep whacking and smacking this poor little guy. Look at that little guy. There's one little AI guy in his, in his hangar. Looks like we got this game in hand. Um, wow, look at the damage there. 99,000 and some to 16,000. I'm pretty sure that the kill rate is pretty good too. This has been an old-fashioned beatdown, hasn't it? All right, let's see what how we did here. We dominated. Yes, we did. Oh, look at that. I came number one. Got top kills, top assists. Um, wow, look at all the medals I got there. What kind of medals did I get? Let's see here. Let's... Um, one, two, three, four different medals, best in team, top kills, top assist, and power bank. Man, oh man. Well, there you go. So yes, the Edison's great, and so are those other large dinos. I'll do some videos on them later in the, uh, in the coming days and weeks. But until next time, as always, hit the subscribe, the like, the share. I really appreciate the support, and I'll see you on the battlefield.